Validate50states.org You wanna come here? Well, it's gone now, but <laughs> When you come over here, there'll be something over here for you to sign up with uh, Get an email, stuff like that Suggest you do it So right over here on uh, the, this Validate page Let's go to Validate Golden State Validate50states.org so if you live in California, you want to validate the Golden State, okay? If you guys want to start validate California or validate Southern California, validate NorCal, whatever, go ahead. Um, so you just go here, validate50.org, find your state, and if your state doesn't have one set up, if your fucking job is an American, do it. How do you think Validate the Golden State got started? Took me ten fucking minutes. Let's get it together, folks. I mean, come on, let's let's be honest. It's it's fun doing shit like that, creating a page and shit. Now it gets frustrating if you're making a web page and shit. I've already done that stuff, and so, you know, Kevin wants more validation, so I'm going to give it to him. I'm going to give it to him. And plus, since other people ain't doing their fucking part, I'm going to do their part for them. But 
Pathetic. Pathetic. You know what grinds my gears, folks? You want to know what grinds my gears? You send someone all sorts of information, warning of dangers, and basically telling them, you know, it's a death wish. And this is how much interest they take. Absolutely none. Anyways, uh, so this is like, you know, this is like my first time being here because like the past week I've been up the Department of Justice's ass. I got my own shit going on with them. So I, ha I have no clue what's going on over here. Apparently, uh, <laughs> apparently a lot. Uh, when Kevin wants something done, he makes it happen. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. That's what's up. So, uh, I'm here visiting along with you guys. <clears throat> Both founders of this effort, Craig Kirk and Kevin Allen, have watched the trend of activism being corrupted and tyranny increasing due to an inaction by the majority. Our goal is simple. Educate the common person on the process to overturn unjust laws, statutes, rules, and policies in all 50 states. A huge problem, folks. I mean, the cops could arrest you for fucking a ham sandwich, and you wouldn't know the difference. You don't know your fucking rights. Let's face it, folks. Even you people that follow the Constitution, a lot of you... A lot of you have no idea... When the last update... Of the Constitution was? The answer to that is it's never been updated. It never needs updating. So if you know the Constitution, you shouldn't, you know, if you know the Constitution and the cops try to arrest you, it's kind of easy to call their bullshit. It's good to know the law. And by the way, this little book here. This little book trumps anything. The cops can show you a law. The cops can show you a law that you broke. The cops can show you whatever they want to show you to say this is why we're putting you under arrest. And if it's not in this book, they're not doing a fucking thing. It's only 60 pages long, folks. It's interesting. It's easy to read. What the fuck more do you want? Oh, did I mention? No other country on the planet has that. Although we could never efficiently tackle all issues in every state, we believe that addressing at least one key issue in every state will plant the seed of knowledge and action that will begin to turn back the clock of tyranny. Teaching conferences will be held in every state and cost to attend will vary state to state. Below is an in-depth explanation of the who, what, where, when, and why of this endeavor. So, yeah. So, whatever your state, you know, has a major problem in, or whatever you're passionate about, uh, go ahead and jump on that. Like, uh, for instance, you know, Oregon, California, you may have uh, some kind of a beef with pot, you know, legalized pot, medical pot. Might want to jump on that. Uh, especially since I'm sure the DOJ is getting ready to pounce on your asses any day. Which is another reason I've been up at their orifice all week. So, and they're, they're going to keep doing that. It's all fucking intimidation bullshit. Look, we're the law. Hee <laughs> hee. We got dickheads. Hee <laughs> hee. The morons don't know that, you know, the globalists came up with those helmet designs for a fucking reason. So, validate 50 states to who, what, where, and why. There you go. I'm sure he's got a few more videos on it. There you go.
right there. I can get it. <laughs> That's a fucking activist right there, folks. Getting shit done. That's what everybody should be doing. If everybody was doing shit like this, we wouldn't be in the fucking shit we're in now. We all know the pen is mightier than the sword. So it's really quite simple. We arm you with pens, guided by knowledge, information and love of our country, and justice for all. Okay? Might want to head over to Kevin's page. Who the fuck knows what he's got on there? Don't fuck with the man, though. He opens his page for you. You don't do that for nobody. Do you, Kevin? Show the man some respect, and you get respect back. Support the cows. We've taken many steps to ensure you are safe while on our website. You will notice that we do not have ads or tracking widgets. We are supported by you. This seal ensures that no malware is placed on your website and your transactions are safe. Good to know. And while you're over fucking around with that, you might as well come to the star. Star? Star? Where's my free shit, son? I got my own page. I want my own shit. About the founders, don't get these guys confused. They're not founding, they're fighters. They're not founding fathers, they're fighters of the founders. Okay, they're not that old. Give Kevin a break, man. Craig Kirk, uh, I believe his website is Craig Kirk School of Law. Yep, Craig Kirk School of Law.org. Some cool stuff over here and uh to certainly learn something no take a minute for the page to load i got like 11 pages open right now <laughs> so here's his uh here's the page a lot of shit over here to do there's craig chilling crusaders law hour don't listen. Get your head chopped off. What you think of that, Isis? You want to have a head chopping contest? Hey, Isis. How about we play with our government officials? <laughs> so here you go, man. It's a pretty cool site. A lot of interesting stuff on here. And don't forget... The multitudes of government corruption. Kevin's a tradesman who, after becoming a single father of three boys, found himself in a world that did not provide the needs of his children. After coming to the internet and seeing a crumbling society and dying planet, quickly became an activist and researcher. For a deeper look into Kevin and his goals, please visit his website, masterofmanythings.com. <laughs> and uh, if you're uh, if you're interested in uh, stuff like numbers, you know, stuff like the debt, um, let's just go over there, huh? Master of many things. I only got to type in a few letters. News, truth, activism. Dedicated to waking the under-informed and being a voice for the voiceless. How could you not fucking go on the damn page? Does NBC tell you that? Or Fox? <laughs> Check it out, folks. There's your debt. Just keeps fucking climbing and climbing. This is why I posted that picture earlier. The little kid, he's like, I'm only two years old. How the fuck do I owe $136,000? <laughs> There you go, shit. Debt for taxpayer. Folks, as soon as you're born, 
Right out of the pussy. You owe like 52 grand. You can thank Mr. Obama for that. Whatever the fuck his name is. The fuck? I could have swore this was just 319 last week. <laughs> and there it is. Debt per citizen. 54 grand. Close enough. But you know what's good, folks? Raising the debt ceiling doesn't raise the debt. How do you like them apples? Of course it raises the fucking debt! Do you see the kind of fucking smurf this guy thinks you all are? Raising the debt ceiling doesn't raise the debt. That sounds like something the people who bought Too Big Too Fail bought into. Like Gerald Salente said, can you imagine the Founding Fathers buying that one? Too Big to Fail? What are they going to use next time they need a fucking bailout? There's nothing else. Too Big, Too Fail. Eric Holder. The banks are too big. We can't prosecute them. Well, good. Get the fucking CEO and cut his fucking head off. Maybe that'll send a message to the lower people. You know what I'm saying? Lead by example. There's more 50 state shit, man. Mm, fucking more numbers and even more numbers. One day I woke up. The world was unfair. People lived in poverty. Governments ignored their citizens. Corporations controlled all the politics. I wanted change. So now I stand up anonymous. Like Steve Grant says, you think I wear this mask for shits and giggles? To look like a fucking moron? <laughs> yeah, I'm, an, I'm probably like the only Anon that could fucking care less. I don't wear a mask. When I do wear a mask, it's in, I, just to take a fucking picture. <laughs> Folks, you want to check this out. This is a good show. Boiler Room Radio with Jim Funk. Jim's true patriot, caring human being. Uh, if you want very view on all the issues we face, you must listen to the live shows from prepping to the economy, from more to the awakening. Jim and his co-hosts bring a powerful show that has the ambiance of family. During his shows, Jim is present on camera and has been known to wear offensive t-shirts that everyone likes that are very humorous and even a kilt. So, you know, Keep the humor, tell the real. You gotta have some fucking balance here. So, it is a pretty good show too, I like that. And he's got some other radio shows on here. All sorts of shit. You never know what the master of many things is doing. I can tell you that. But he's always doing something. Something for the people. Something for country. Like some people who think doing something for country is supporting the New England Patriots. Check out the videos over here. Bring it to Daily Motion. Check out his videos. Mastermanythings.com. God bless and carry on. <laughs>